I'm not sure how other sea salt sprays aren't vegan because like what's in them. Anyway, that makes your girl super oily. Serena Vanderwoodson just rolled out of bed. Keep watching if you want to see this look, this look, and this one. Good morning. I am fresh out of the shower. I'm using my Tangle Teaser hairbrush to fix my hair right now because she's curly. Get your morning coffee, hover your mouse over the 10 second rewind button and get ready because we're about to do some hair. Okay, so it turns out like thousands of you guys um, splurged a little bit over the Christmas holidays and got yourself your own Bondi Boost blowout brush. So a round of applause for all of you guys making that brilliant decision. But also that kind of brings us to today's video. Now I've done two other videos if you've seen them and that's how you're here then you're up to scratch But if you haven't seen those yet, maybe go back and check them out because they give you a little bit of a rundown like a beginners Easy how to kind of thing today. We're taking it to like the intermediate level beginners can absolutely do this I'm just saying go check out the other videos because they're super helpful But yes today we're gonna make it a little bit harder. So I'm brushing out my hair I'm actually gonna use only two products on my hair today first one I'm gonna use is just my hair oil. This is the one I'm using at the moment if you guys have any recommendations for a good hair oil can you please let me know because I really need one I just got this one from the chemist and like she does all right but like she's not epic or anything and I'm gonna be having this in my hair for all three of the looks today so you can just start off with your freshly washed hair ready for its beautiful blowout and just run your hair oil through the ends and the mids we don't put oil at our roots that makes your girl super oily I will give it to this hair oil it actually Smells incredible. All right, I'm just gonna brush that through again. I also got the um, Tangle Teaser brush for Christmas this year as well. I got this one and another um, like horse hair brush, I think it is, and they're both incredible. All right, the second product that I'm using in my hair today, I'm not gonna use until the third look, so I'll show you that one when I do it. Okay, first look of the day, it's gonna be simple, it's gonna be quick. I'm even gonna time myself so you guys can see in real time how quick this look is for me. I'm just gonna do a dead straight blowout. We love it. It's quick. Quick, it's clean, it's sleek, it's stylish. It's the best one to do with the Bondi Boost brush because it's so quick and easy and the results are 10 out of 10, 11 out of 10 if you will. We're in 2022 now. So like I said in those other um, Bondi Boost blowout brush videos, the thing that really sold me really early on about the blowout brush was how big my sections could be, which means how fast I could get my look done. Because the paddle is so wide, it just disperses the heat so much more, and my chunks, like look, that's like almost half my hair. Usually my first one would be way back here, at like the base of my neck down here, but not with this. For the sleek look, for the other looks I might section it off a little bit more, but for this one, we're just going in hard. It's 11 10. I'm gonna get this whole look done before 11.30. So in less than 20 minutes, I'm gonna get this whole sleek looked blowout done and I'll show you my phone straight afterwards. Let's go. Guys, in two minutes, Two minutes it's 11 12 I did that whole section it's blown out it's soft it's sleek we're not frizzy and the whole thing's dry she's so good Okay guys, I'm done. Check it out. This sleek kind of silky blown out. It's so soft. My hair is so soft. I actually can't believe it. When you use this Bondi Boost blowout brush with a hair oil, your hair is shiny and silky and soft. It's so good. And we'll do a time check. 11.22. Well under the 20 minute mark. Okay, look two. We're stepping it up a notch now, okay? We're moving into the intermediate level. We're going to give ourselves a really soft, sexy, bouncy blowout with curls with the Bondi Boost brush. This one's gonna be super easy again, but you need to get that rotating technique down pat for this one, okay? So I'm gonna section it off a little bit 
a little bit more than I did just for the straight blowout because I want a really defined curl here. I want big bouncy ones, but I want to be able to section off the section of the hair that I'm using to create that curl. So look number two, big bouncy curls with this one. Okay, we have our hair sectioned off, like I said before, a little bit smaller pieces this time. And also because our hair's already blown out, it's a little bit sleeker, so we can use kind of smaller sections and be a little bit more specific with it. Just quickly, I had a few um, FAQs in the last couple of vlogs and on my Instagram. No, I'm not sponsored by Bondi Boost. This is not a collab. Or a gifted. I bought the Bondi Boost with my own money, so this isn't sponsored. I just genuinely really like their products. But I'll also always let you know if something is sponsored, and then often I'll let you know if it's gifted as well, because I think it's important for you guys to make your decisions to know those facts just straight up, just for our relationship. But yes, I'll let you know if anything is sponsored or paid, if it's an ad, if it's anything like that. Now, let's get to these big bouncy curls. Just gonna give you a little quick technique rundown for how I get this one. It's really simple. Like when we were doing the straight um, blowout and we were just curling the ends. We're gonna do that but from sort of the root or just below the root. So you've got to get that technique of grabbing the hair, pulling it over and then you've got to roll as we pull it out. Roll, 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 roll and keep going. And then right before we let go of it, I'm gonna get my hand underneath it like this, catch the curl and I'm just gonna set it by rolling it around my fingers like that. And then you'll see that the curl will come out really nicely. And then we leave it and we let it sit there. What do we think of our curls? I can't believe if I sit back, look how much more volume I have compared to when I did that sleek kind of um, look before. And oh, I just love it. So I let these curls sit. I didn't touch them for about 15, 20 minutes, maybe even 25 minutes actually, except for just like twirling them around my fingers like I'm doing right now. And that's what's helped sort of keep the body of them, keep the volume, keep the shape and stuff. And I think that is like a really pivotal thing that you've got to do. Don't brush out your curls immediately after you'd set them. Let them set for even longer let them cool down but yeah what do we think this is the um it's kind of got this cool wispy look to it which i really like this is one of my go-to's i love building a little bit more volume in my hair making it a little bit bouncy a little bit lush i think this is one of my favorite looks okay look three we're on to the third one this is definitely the hardest in terms of technique but not impossible you can all do it if i can do it so i'm just going to brush out these curls i'm going to ruin them um for a little bit just so i can start kind of fresh again and remember how I said that I'm using two products and I was going to use the second one until the end well I'll show you now I'm going to try and achieve like a wave look so that kind of cool beachy casual Serena Vanderwoodson just rolled out of bed looking super lush like that kind of look and I'm going to be using a sea salt spray to help me with this one this is not necessary to create the look because it's all in the technique of how you're blowing out your hair but it just enhances it it helps a little bit it gives your hair a little bit of a texture especially now for me right now because I'm doing one look after the other. Wavy looks are definitely best done on day old hair so when you've washed your hair the day prior just because your hair's got a little bit of grit and it just gives it that kind of like fresh natural kind of look as opposed to when you freshly washed it and it's the silk like sleek kind of look which is not really the same as a wavy look. I actually borrowed this from Amy. By borrowed I mean I didn't ask for it. Amy never watches my beauty vlogs so if you're seeing this for some reason Amy thank you <laughs> um she just has this it's just called make there it's um for beachy chic salty spray it's actually vegan which is great which i'm not sure how other sea salt sprays aren't vegan because like what's in them anyway
anyway this one is the one that I'm using you don't need a fancy one I don't even know where this is from it's probably from the supermarket okay guys let's talk technique I've just run the Bondi Boost blowout brush over my hair just to kind of straighten out those curls because I don't really want them there when I'm trying to create a wave so I've just straightened it out a little bit now technique for this one I'm still perfecting it it's not perfect the end look of this one is not gonna be like salon quality it's gonna be a little bit rough but we're just trying okay we're building we're learning here I'm gonna give my hair like a nice light spray we don't want a lot of product product really weighs down my hair and I get really oily build up so I don't want a lot of it on there but I want enough to sort of feel it I want enough to give it a bit of grip something to hold on to okay my sea salt spray is all over my section that I'm gonna choose now pay close attention we're coming up from underneath like we always have coming up from underneath like this and I'm gonna just start working down like I normally would now once I get to about halfway or a third of the way or so I'm gonna flip the brush okay watch really carefully flip it over like that and then I'm gonna keep going can you see how there's like a kink it's twisted it hasn't curled it's twisted my hair and I'm gonna keep going and then I'm gonna do it again I'm gonna flip the brush whoop flip it again all the way to the end and can you see that curl see that how it's actually like twisted my hair around that's what we're going for okay we don't want to see a barrel curl we want to see a twisted curl kind of like a dreadlock and then I'll show you in the end when you play around with it add a little bit of the sea salt spray to it it really comes alive into this really soft kind of cool beachy wave but the technique she's a little tricky so give yourself some time to get this one okay anything out yet I'm just gonna add one last little like spritz of um, sea salt spray onto it I know she looks a little crazy right now and now we're just gonna do some magic with our fingers and just separate them all give them a nice little zhuzh and now check out these super casual super chill just rolled out of bed Serena Vanderwoodson style beachy waves that we just made with the Bondi Boost Brush. The same hot tool that gave us a sleek, stylish looking blowout, a bouncy, voluminous, Hollywood, glamorous style curls, and now these super casual, tasseled, styled beach waves as well. How impressive is that? So there you have it. They are my three best and easiest, but some of them not as easy as the other ones, looks to create with your Bondi Boost blowout brush. I hope you guys have liked this video. I I know so many of you have gone and gotten the brush so watch this video again but get your brush out this time and do the looks along with me because it's super helpful to slow down some of the techniques to see exactly how we do it I really hope you guys like this video I can't wait to see you guys in the next one happy 2022 this is the first or second video really because the first one was the new year's vlog the second video for this whole new year I'm so excited that so many new people are here and I can't wait to hear about all the looks you guys make with your Bondi Boost brush if you haven't seen the other videos go and check them out right now and then I will see you guys next Sunday for another video.